congestion going on. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh. Yes. Como ya la vi solita, pues me pregunté qué pasa cuando me bailo cerquita. Eso fue descomunal. Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es. Cómo se lo mami. Hello and hello, welcome back to Time with Tally, or welcome to Time with Tally if you've never been on my channel before. My name is Tally, I do lifestyle, beauty, fitness, and whatever other random things that come to mind on this channel. So I hope you enjoy and you stick around. Today I'm going to be meal prepping and I'm going to take you all along with me, but that's not the premise of this video. I wanted to talk about something that's a little bit important, at least to me and lots of my friends. Also, fair warning, I sound a little congested because I think my sinuses are taking me out. I know it's not COVID. It's not that, it's not the flu. It's just like a little sinus infection or congestion going on. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh. Yes. <laughs> Long story short, I'm just making this video because I feel like sometimes, especially around this time of year, with the seasonal depression kicking in and the weather changing, and some of us definitely do way better in the sun, um, me being one of them, <laughs> it's sometimes important to kind of keep yourself in check and just check in with yourself as well. Also, not only that, but being in your 20s and trying to figure life out, I feel like there is this like societal pressure that you need to like figure your stuff out. And I can only speak for, from like the perspective of women. I also feel like, especially as women, we have like this like clock and there's always like this pressure that we have to have our stuff figured out. And if we don't, that, that that's, that's a problem. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that it's not. And I don't know about y'all, but I definitely have felt this, I don't know if it's a cultural thing or what, but I definitely have felt this pressure that like I always have to have my stuff together. I have to be that child in the family that kind of makes history right in a sense. This has to do with not only the season changing and people's mentals changing, but also these are some things that I do that help me feel, long story short, like I got my shit together. <laughs> So that's what this video is gonna be. It's 10 things I do to make me feel like I have my ish together. So let's go meal prep, we're gonna get right into it. Alrighty, so we're officially in my kitchen. I already washed my chicken. So this week I'm gonna do like little Mexican rice bowls type of vibes, probably shred up my chicken. And then the other half, cause I got like these massive chicken breasts. I'll probably just cut them in half and each one of those will be a serving. So it's like eight different things, well eight servings. <laughs> I'll probably just do half of it like shred it and boil it up or whatever. And then the other one, I'll probably cube them up. And then I wanted to do like a little like chicken parm vibe with them, but maybe I'll just freeze them for now. I don't know yet, we're gonna figure it out. Either way, that's not the premise of the video. Bye. Also, I also want to just remind y'all, I don't have my shit together, okay? <laughs> this is These are just habits that I have that even though I also may not be fully consistent with them at all times, like by the book or whatever, if I incorporate them into my routine or like once in a while I do, it still helps me feel better. Maybe it might help you, I don't know. I also somehow managed to have my light actually set up in my kitchen, which is really cool, really great. I have a very small kitchen, nothing fancy. So the first thing that I would say is, before I even touch the chicken again, the number one thing that probably makes me feel like I have my stuff together, even though I absolutely do not, this. It sounds crazy, okay? But like it does. <laughs> I bought a lunchbox for work. For quite a while, I'm not gonna lie, I was definitely like, I was like bringing my stuff in like plastic bags or always like buying food or and, like ordering out delivery, whatever it may be. That's all I was doing at the time. But now that I've gotten more accustomed to like meal prepping and making my own food, bringing a little lunchbox with a bunch of the stuff that I prepared myself, it makes me feel like accomplished in like the smallest way. And it makes me feel like I have my stuff together, period. So now that brings us into number two and now I officially touched the chicken so I'm trying to like not touch the camera so we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna cut off the fat really quick. Number two, I would say that also leads into meal prepping. So meal prepping my meals makes me feel like, oh, I should have put my hair up, damn it. All right, anyways, whatever, it's mine. Might as well just eat my own hair at this point. Meal prepping helps me feel like I kind of do this thing where I help my future self by doing like little things around the house or like in my phone, whether it's like set reminders or thing like that or things like that. I'm helping my future self. And so meal prepping really saves a lot of time and effort and energy and money as well. I'm going to have like a busy week at work or whatever it may be, you know, because I obviously like I work a lot. I go to the gym quite a bit. I just have a really, really busy life. So meal prepping definitely helps not have something else to worry about throughout the week and not have something else to spend time on. So I take out one day out of the week and I just try my best to have at least the next week's worth of meals ready to go. Period. And also just for funsies, I also like to have like matching Tupperware. Having Tupperware that all like looks uniform and put together, it makes me feel really good. 
I don't know. Another thing that you may not um, be aware of, but it does definitely like help contribute is like organization. Um, so when I say that, I mean in my work bag and in my gym bag, I have special compartments for things. So I have little baggies that are set aside for each thing, whether it be feminine hygiene products or it be like my eye stuff, like my eye contact lens with some drops and or my glasses, or let's say it's body spray, perfume, deodorant, stuff like that. Or like in my work bag, for example, I have a bunch of pens, markers, highlighters, my protective equipment, because like I said, I'm a nurse. Sometimes obviously I have to bring my own stuff, whether it be a blood pressure cuff, whether it be a pulse sock, you know, stethoscope, whatever it may be. I like to have certain compartments in my work bags or gym bag, just so it's easily accessible and I'm not fumbling around to find stuff later on. But that also goes with organization in my drawers. In my house, my drawers, if they're not put together and look like I freshly folded everything, I feel like I'm a hot mess. And I feel borderline like I'm gonna spiral. I feel a hair on my mouth, but I can't touch it, period. I got it. So at least like once a week, I will like go through my drawers and just make sure that they look nice. If somebody were to break in my house and they're like trying to like rob me or something, they'd be like, damn, this bitch is organized. Look at these drawers. I even actually organize my closets a certain type of way too. I feel like I'm like exposing my own secrets right now. Uh, in my closets, I organize it in order of item of clothing. My color would be too much, but. So the closet that actually has my workout clothes, leggings, then sweatpants, then shirts, then jackets. So it's all a certain type of way. So again, less time taken out to find an outfit. Anything that's gonna save me time during the week and make things easier for me is what I try to do like once a week because I don't do well with chaos. I don't. All right, I just washed my hands, I cut them up. I think I decided that I'm going to put half of them in the freezer and then I'll figure out what to do with them later, but I'll season them all first. And then I'll just make the ones for the week. Well, for like the next four or five days. I'm already tired. That's the only thing I don't like about making chicken is the fact that literally you have to like wash your hands like 12 times in between, but I love chicken. Gym rat, period. I would say another thing that I definitely do think helps me and my mental and making sure that I feel good is just being clean. My hygiene has a lot to do with how I feel about myself. If I do not brush my teeth properly and very well, that's gonna be a problem. If I don't exfoliate, if I don't wear deodorant or <laughs> put on lotion or perfume, I don't feel like I'm put together enough to be even outside. I always like to smell good. I like to feel clean. I also like to make sure that most of the time, most of the time, <laughs> my eyebrows are done. Because for me, I just feel like I could go without makeup, but I shouldn't be going without like at least mascara and eyebrows. Because I feel like my face just does not look put together unless I have that. I like to have like my eyebrows done. I like to make sure I shave my mustache. Yes, I do that. I think it's also important to like, as a kid that like I literally grew up with terrible skin and like really, really bad acne. I think a good skincare routine, you know, making sure that I stop falling asleep in my makeup, which I used to do a lot in my early 20s. Moisturizing and, you know, dermaplaning, shaving, shaving your whole body, having clean nails. And this goes also for men as well. I don't know, stuff like that. Like it just makes me feel I'm investing into myself. So therefore I am worth something to be invested in, I guess. That's the best way I could put it. Like, I'm gonna be honest, getting ready for bed and putting on like a little cute set of satin PJs as if somebody was coming over, even though in my case, they're not. But treating yourself in that way, it's just giving you that love that nobody else can really give to you. It's you prioritizing yourself in a way that nobody else can. Just a quick bonus one. When I'm cooking, washing as I go makes me feel like I have it together. Because if not, girl, I will leave these dishes in here. Every Puerto Rican's favorite product. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think we're on number five. Number five would be, and I don't do this all the time, but when I think about it, I love when I do it. I love picking out my outfits ahead of time. Whether it be for the gym, whether it be for work, whatever it may be. Just knowing that I saved myself that extra, I don't know, one minute or whatever. And yes, I use a measuring cup, okay? It's the only way it comes out right for me. You might think, okay, picking out an outfit for work is not really that hard, especially if it's like scrubs and whatnot, because most of the time they match anyways, but I hate wearing scrub tops. They're super, super uncomfortable and like boxy and I just don't feel good in them. Ah. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> so I most of the time will actually just wear like a regular shirt, whether it's a t-shirt, whether it's just a plain solid short sleeve shirt. If you look good, you feel good. You perform better, you feel better. So I see nothing wrong with someone at work just wanting to feel good and dress nice just for their own eye. Like, I, I don't understand what the problem is with that. I saw a video online of a nurse, of someone, I think it's a nurse, um, was saying that nurses shouldn't be worried about like what they look like and blah, 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 and not for nothing. I've been a nurse going on seven years now. I see nothing wrong with you just wanting to care what you look like. I understand she was definitely speaking more towards a specific demographic of people that only care about that and they don't give patient-centered care and genuinely care for their patients and what they do for work. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with you just wanting to look good and feel good whilst also doing a job that literally you need to mentally prepare yourself to do most of the time. Don't piss me off. <laughs> Either way, picking out your outfit ahead of time, it helps save you some time and it helps save you some mental labor that you probably don't want to do at like five, six o'clock in the morning when you're getting ready for work. Or after a long day of work and you decide to go to the gym, how easy is it to already have your outfit ready to go for the gym? You know what I'm saying? This one has been replicated amongst a bunch of people. I'm not gonna lie, it definitely helps me feel like I have it together when I make my bed. Nothing feels better than coming home after like a long day of work and like my bed is actually like made and it doesn't look like a mess from like this morning. It's honestly just like a reminder of all the stress I was feeling that morning. <laughs> It's never good to leave your house like stressed running around. It's not the best start to a day. Number seven. So I actually do create a whole time block schedule of my day and my week. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't, but it does help on the times that I do that I have scheduled hours of the day scheduled specifically just for work hours, for content creating hours, for gym hours, or me time hours or minutes maybe. Stuff happens, but if you always have something that you can kind of like fall back on that gives you a sense of security, you're only helping yourself. So this one in number eight, the next one they're kind of similar they kind of go together but they're still a little different so number eight is keeping a calendar or agenda of like events so things like for example your bills or a special event coming up your things to do like a or a grocery list they're two separate things in the aspect of that this is what my weekly schedule will look like these are the hours i have allotted for those things and then your calendar will be stuff that's a little bit more specific that have like more due dates so you're not really sitting around and you're like oh my god this bill is due i completely forgot oh my god this event is coming up and I totally was sidetracked if you know ahead of time you relieve yourself some stress I don't know if that was the proper sentence composure but whatever composition ah! I have never struggled with my words as much as I have since I started a YouTube channel I think something important to note also with like having a calendar like in a list of like events and stuff is that I love the idea of being able to visually see my accomplishments I get to see myself erasing things off of the list or checking things off and it gives me a sense of accomplishment you know deadlines can be stressful I know that much for example I'll put post-its in my house or on my laptop I will set reminders and alarms on my phone to go off at certain in dates times to help me remind myself because I will just go 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 and as a lot of us do there's so many things that happen in life that we don't even notice because we don't have a second to stop really absorb everything that's happening around us so number nine it's a little bit harder in the cold months but I also try to clean out my car once a month truthfully my car can become a freaking wreck if I do not take care of it and I'm not on top of it because I will get lazy sometimes and I'll be just like Nye. Taking out the time to once a month go and clean out my car, scrub it down, wipe it down on the inside, make it smell good with a new little air freshener. It makes me feel good and accomplished as well. I mean, I'm in the thing every day. I might as well take care of it, right? Me and a friend of mine have actually made it an activity that we do together. We'll get together and we'll actually go to the car wash and wash our cars together. And the last thing is try your best to seek balance. We are not perfect life does happen and we can be forgiving to ourselves strive for the best whilst also knowing that perfection is not possible some weeks are better than others but i will say that the weeks that i have felt the most accomplished and the most gratitude and the most proud of myself for who i am as a person and where i've reached in life as an adult are the weeks that i have found balance and have dedicated enough time to my work my gym and hobbies and family and friends. And it doesn't necessarily mean that everything has to have the exact amount of hours spent on each. But of course, it's the quality of that time that you spend on each. We're all trying to figure this thing called life out. Give yourself some credit and remind yourself this seasonal depression shit, it's temporary. We will see the light again. I'm gonna finish making these and I will see you guys soon. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.